welcome along and welcome back to silver on forest now last time we had lots of really good suggestions on how we can uh, improve things around the tree farm here so i want to try out a couple of those today um i've got some uh, concrete walls we're going to uh, put in here and see if we can create a way of piling up uh logs to easily collect them so we're gonna have a play around with that um and see if we can load them up onto the trailer um i also picked up a really really useful uh mod that came out just yesterday that's going to be perfect for us so what we're going to do is i'm going to take this uh around the other side Oh, forwards there we go uh and uh and we're gonna set ourselves up so we can hopefully create great piles of logs and uh and easily pick them up against a uh set of concrete barriers around this side let's bring this here and right so that's kind of the position i want to be in uh, as a result, we should be able to line things up here. So first, let's go into the construction here. We want decoration. We want others. And uh, yeah, this concrete wall mod, I've downloaded this. And I think this is going to be really, really useful for what we want to do. There we go. So I think we want it, the first one, uh, straight and about there. The second one, about uh, there-ish. Look at that. So straight through there so we can push stuff up and pick stuff up and be in the middle. But we need something to press against. But what we want to do is bring this up here and we're going to put a few of these out this side as something to buttress uh, everything up against. So... Uh, and then just to add a little bit of flair to the end, we'll take it down like that. There we go. Right, so uh, we've got an area here now. We can uh, cut trees here, or we can cut trees, uh, bring them over, cut them into here. We'll push them up against this wall and then up against these walls. Should allow us to pick them up in the middle and have some nice, clean loading onto our trailers i think so then we can cut it into this area oh, six meters seems to be about right as well yeah we are just outside too now what i need to do really is have a way to push these up against that wall which we don't have at the moment so uh, in order to do that, I think we're going to have to have a quick trip down to the shop. I'm quite pleased I brought this down to the shop, actually. It's in serious need of a service. So we'll get that done while we're down here, too. Hopefully it isn't going to cost me too much to get that uh, done. Uh, we'll also have a look at the sales while we're down here, because it's always worth seeing if there's something uh, for sale nice and cheap. So park this up. And then uh, over to here and repair cost is nearly 5,000. Ow. But it's all up and working. We did get a little bit low. What have we got in the sales? Oh, wow. We got a dirt bike. I'm really tempted just to have a play around with that uh, <laughs> on here. I mean, it's a perfect map for doing it. And uh, if we weren't saving up for stuff, uh, I would be very, very tempted. I mean, look at this in the uh, in the VF colours. Where's the olive? There it is. Is uh, has quite, quite beautiful. Want the colour? A nice bright red, uh, bright yellow. See colour? Yeah, look at that. That's that's what we want. That is absolutely amazing. How much is that? That is uh, nine thousand. Without the uh, hand protectors or anything. You know what? I think very much that I uh, I might just have a little something to have a joy round on. So, yeah, I'm going to buy that. Hell. Uh, 
Uh, the other thing that's sitting here is a new TLX Phoenix uh, with how many hours on it? Uh, 29 and a half hours or 29.9 hours on it. That compares to our CMS TLX Phoenix that now has 28. So actually, we've got less hours on our current Phoenix and we have two trucks anyway. So not looking at either of those. What we do want to get... Um, and I'm probably going to have to have a look in here for this because I'm not exactly sure what category this mod comes under. But this is the multi-blade. Now, this is going to be very, very useful to us um, to push stuff about. Now, there's a folding mechanism, log fork standard. I kind of want to get it with the log fork on it and I hopefully we'll be able to uh, still do bits on it uh, extension frame frame grid uh, I think we'll put the frame grid on it uh, winch yes uh, edge uh, yes uh, I think we'll have a straight edge on it what are the plinks oh plinks are not sure Warning strips, uh, yes. Uh, oh, various warning strips. Uh, yeah, black, yellow warning strips on them. Attacher type, we want wheel loader because we're going to be using it on our tracked wheel loader mainly. Uh, main color, um, we're going to be using it on the other one, yeah. Pink's color, black. Uh, edge color, I think we will go for a nice deep red. Uh, extension color yellow and I can put a license plate on it um, okay we're not going to put a license plate on it because we, we don't need to so so that's pretty good I, you know what I don't think I need the log fork set up I think I need the folding mechanism just to give us a nice wide push on this blade um, I can go and uh, rework it uh, later. We'll, yeah, we'll go with that. Um, and that should do pretty perfectly for us. Uh, main color, I am actually going to change back to the black. I think that is much nicer. And then I'm going to put the yellow back on the edge. There we go. That is what I'm going to go for. Uh, that is going to cost 8,861. So we will buy that. Yes. Okay. And yeah, that is what we're after up here. This to push that. And uh, oh, I might have to ride the bike back at the end of this just to uh, to go for a little joy ride and have a, and a go around. Um, I have bought that simply because it's available. And uh, because I fancy just having a little bit of fun on here. This map is one of those maps where that kind of piece of equipment is just so much fun to ride around. Now, this should fold in. Yep. So, um, yeah, this is, uh, this is set up a little bit more like a silage blade at the moment. But should be perfect for us to push logs around. And... The other advantage is we now have the winch on the front. So if we need to pull logs out or we need to pull anything towards our excavator to make things easier, we can do that now too. The great thing about this, if I want to get rid of snow around the logging camp as well, we have got some on the way later today. We now have something we can push snow out of the way with too. Uh, so that's pretty excellent. Let's come around here and just going to place this down. We will drop it off the front and back out the way because this is not the piece of equipment I want to put the, this on. This is. So, uh, yeah, it's rather weird. We got two wheel loaders on here um, and this very much is a uh is a wheel loader until i had it right next to the other one a minute ago i didn't realize exactly how big this was this is bigger than our class uh which is slightly ridiculous so we'll connect that up i don't think we need to connect up any nope pipes or anything that should just unfold um and then the idea is nice wide blade 
we can just push these with it all the way up to the other wall. So like that. Uh, in there like so. And then this, we can hook this back up and uh, hopefully get this underneath. This is why I've put the lips on uh, this side, uh, on those back ones, because it will help to uh, get some space underneath uh, these logs and hopefully mean that we can then pick up the whole pile at once. So, yeah, up to the back there. Look at that. Oh my god, that works so well. That's an entire tree in one go. That is awesome. So we've picked these up directly in the middle. Uh, we picked up the entire tree. And it's all really, really, uh, really, really neat. Let's get the TLX Phoenix. Get the logging trailer on and uh, and get this set up because that is more successful than I'd expected. Uh, that is just going to make it so easy for us to load logs and trees up. Uh, load logs up now. Uh, it's ridiculous. And we won't be doing any more of that uh, dropping logs onto the logging trailer because we should be able to if i can connect everything up there we go uh we should be able to uh just place them in and pull back and oh man that is gonna make all the difference to this right up to fourth gear pull forwards uh get this into the loading position uh which is about there-ish and see if we can actually just get these on in a nice, neat way. And uh, and see if this works. But yeah, this this changes everything as far as our logging is concerned. Uh, yeah, look at this. Neatly lined up in the middle. We can uh, then just place this here. And what I do is I bring this down nice and low. Uh, open up that at the far side and just back out and the logs are on there without any issue that is absolutely fantastic so uh, that's how we're going to be doing it we're going to uh, get this lined up get the other wheel load out of the way cut a tree and uh, and then get it into the loading area oh man that that couldn't have gone any better second tree in and cut and wow does it just make everything simpler even if i drop one like that i can just come back in push the whole thing up and into there like that grab it and pick up the whole tree that is an absolute game changer uh it is brilliant and uh yeah we can get several trees in here very quickly and very easily now and so neatly um it really does change everything about how we're loading logs on here and we can just place them into the trailer i know lots of comments last time about how if i was dropping trees onto the trailer uh like um uh, like i was at the end of the last video that uh, it would cause so much damage to the trailer. So we just jump out of here. We move our multi-bladed uh, one out the way. Pop into here. Cut a tree. I'm half tempted to cut a load of trees. And, uh, and then just do them this way. We could put multiple trees in here. And I did originally build this. Oh, four multiple trees. Uh, to go into there, but to be honest, uh, we are much better off just taking a single tree at a time, uh, using our concrete to uh, get them in place. I'm going to have to cut lots of trees to get just this one tree down. 
and uh, and as a result, we uh, we are much better off just taking like a single tree at a time and doing it. Did I get that right? I did. That one there is not falling because it's attached to this one. Right. I'm going to be cutting five trees down anyway. Or six trees down anyway. To get just this one that is already... Whoa. Down. Done. And this actually is probably where having the, uh, the chain on the front of our blade is going to come in useful. Um, because we'll be able to, to come in there and just pull these trees out and into a better position for this. Rather actually than getting this to, uh, to come along and pull the trees out of here. So let's just turn that uh, back across, down a bit. There we are. And back it out. Yeah, we want to try and keep the tree to the right hand or the left hand side of the uh oh, of our excavator because then it will go into the space easier let's bring it round the other way like that yeah because you can see now the one issue that i can have is if i can't get the tree into here straight enough so reverse and turn that way as we then need to bring it across and try and target it to that back corner and i'm gonna have to go drive forward slightly there we go but as long as we can get it in there and not have it go between those two walls that's when we'll have a problem um but i think for the most part we're okay here yep that has worked uh they are all there against that back wall so we shouldn't need now to uh get that uh, to get the the uh blade in here because they're all far enough across that we should be able to just drive into here and pick them all up so in we go up against the wall yeah you can see that there is a little bit of an issue because there is one or two that are out of the side. And it's getting it all up against this wall. That's what that's where the trouble comes in. And getting underneath them. Let's open that right up. There we go. Yeah, it's getting them to go up that wall. Because if they go up that wall, I can get underneath all of them. Close around that. Lift and no gap or no significant gap and if we this is the thing if we have to back out this way because if we don't we catch the wall and uh, and then a uh, a log falls out like that however i'm quite happy with that i mean a single lockdown not quite as neat as we've had with the others but this is the first one where i've not actually gone and pushed logs up against the wall before picking them up that is going so so well i'm really really pleased three logs down three trees down and uh we're on to the fourth can load that up and we're going to take all of this down to the sawmill so what i want to do now i think is see if we can use this to pull these trees out of here because it's going to be difficult to get our um our uh, excavator down there so can i grab this let's see full winch there we go and we want to attach it to that first control it oh we can control the winch so uh yeah was that pulling i'm not sure it's pulling and as long as that tree is being pulled forward, we're good. Yep, there we go. This here is going to cause me issues. Can I cut that stump? Yeah, we'd have to get a stump grinder in here. And currently we have the winch attached. Ah, oh, and we have the blade attached. And it's detached. Ah, oh, 
onto this and we'll pull this one forward first. But yeah, this is uh, this is exactly how I want to be getting my uh, my logs out of here, so that we don't have to worry about the excavator pulling logs about much. And yeah, this this is now working very much how I wanted to, and uh, I'm very pleased with this. Very very pleased with this. Just need to get us off this stump here like that. Having pushed those two trees out of the way and loaded up the other one, we're going to now go and get that uh, attach and another. Oh, no. Why is detach everything? So, attach. What is it to attach it to another tree? Oh, it's another R. So, there we go. And B. There we are. So that's attached those. Back it out. And we should be able to pull both of these trees back towards our main thing now. Let's see if we can avoid our uh, it as well. Come on. Yeah, come on. It's coming. Slowly, but it's coming. Because we've got really far over to the left. We're no longer straight onto them. Oh. So over here. Right. And see if we can't avoid that. And pull it more out this way. Yeah, there we go. Came free. And uh, we can now detach that. So uh, detach them all. Now the thing I need to do is probably move my excavator out of the way, come round and just push them over towards those, uh, towards those rocks over there and uh, get things into the right place over the top like that. And uh, yeah, then I can just park this over here out the way. Uh, what we're going to do is just take one, put it into our loading area get that loaded up and then take the second so there and grab that it's gonna push it backwards a little bit but that's fine and bring it over here oh this is just such an elegant system just works so well for us to load everything up make nice neat piles and uh and and make everything go better he says as he finally hits the edge of the gap yeah does mean we need to get it in here straighter um because otherwise we run into problems there we go and one more in it goes back this off and we want to yeah now straighten all that up but we can use the blade to do that. That is the beauty of this setup. Is that we just take our blade now. That we've got here. And uh, and just line everything up. So that we can get the other wheel loader in. And, uh, and load it up. And then once we've got our six trees done. We just take this wheel loader. And we uh, go and get everything else sorted. So yeah. That in there like that. Uh, if we really want to, we can come around here with the blade and push everything up against the end. So it's easier for our log grab to come in and we're not having to then do that with the log grab. So just do that like that. Nice neat pile. Uh, get the blade off the floor. And then in here with this, like so. Get under it with the grab use the uh, angled bits of our wall at the far end just to get make sure we get under everything like so close it up and then carefully reverse out trying not yeah this is the trouble so actually no easy way to get away from that wall but we have done it there we go and just go and load on our nice, neat pile of logs onto the trailer. I can't believe how much difference this has made. 
to the whole system, to simplifying everything. It's just made a massive difference and we can actually realistically place logs onto the trailer now. We don't have to dump them on. In fact, I think uh, we might be able to get two more trees on here. We can certainly get one more. So uh, let's get our, uh, let's get this out the way over here. And uh, yeah, get this last log cut and loaded up. In fact, I think for today, for a proof of concept, uh, this has worked really, really well. I want to get all the stumps ground today as well. So what we're going to do is uh, open up the grab there, turn that. Oh, I've actually got myself really turned around now as well. So let's spin this round. There we are. And then spin uh, this round. And we can pick up this log or this tree. So yeah, it's not a log yet. Down and grab. Nope, a little bit out. A little bit up. Sometimes they can be a little bit finicky. There we go. And back it up. Well, actually, we've got right, really turned around again because we're now going forwards to get out of here. Uh, lift that and away we go. So, yeah, putting it at the edge at a slight angle means that we, we get it as far across, really, as we can. I do love that I keep making those uh, those wall stacks, almost. Um, but that is all in there and ready to be uh, ready to be lifted up. In fact, that's fairly straight. I probably will just maneuver it with the blade quickly, though, because uh, this blade does mean that everything is at the same ang uh, at the same point and we don't have to worry so much about it um, but with how well that is all clumped in there we should be able to just take this in and pick up the whole pile I don't think we needed quite so long a wall is the the only thing I will say uh, it's a, it's quite a long wall that we got on that section, but everything grabbed. It would appear so. Yeah, so I'm gonna try going straight back out this time. There we go. That is how to do it. Straight back out, pick it up, and uh, yeah, this new system, absolute game changer. And makes a massive difference to our entire logging operation here. Uh, and uh, and just simplifies everything. Open that up. Carefully try and distribute the logs across here. Yeah, you see I've got one. Whoa, let's close that. Catch that before it drops off. I think I'll put that on the front. Uh, so reverse this up and we'll get it onto the front and yeah I'll call that loaded because that is probably the neatest loading I think I've ever had on this definitely the most realistic uh, for loading it onto the trailer we didn't drop anything onto it um, I'm so pleased with how well that's worked Right, so strap this all down. We're going to go and take this to uh, to our sawmill shortly and get that running with some new stuff in it. First, I am going to uh, just go and drop the blade off this. So fold the blade up and put it over here. And uh, what I want to do is grab stump grinder get rid of all those new stumps we've created so that next time we come to do this we are not trying to do that there we are and so now really slow this goes again just for connecting that stuff up uh, but we can grind away these stumps I really really like this uh, this track wheel loader I mean this is it's just absolutely fantastic 
for uh, for what we needed at the time and uh, has made a big difference to what we've got. Um, I love the fact that it just just works so well. Uh, other than other than being really slow when this is attached but not activated, that is the only downside to this. And I'm not quite sure why it does it. It doesn't do it with anything else that connects to the front of it. Just this. And I'm guessing it's a, a setting somewhere that's not quite right. Uh, but it works well. And uh, and it's made short work of all of the stumps we've got here. I'm very much considering getting rid of the two big stones that we've got still sitting here keep rolling over them and it keeps causing me trouble so yeah i think we might need to get rid of those but now though that is done can i close this door i'm not quite sure what the uh what do we have so let's start the engine up because it does have opening and closing doors this no uh switch to the right piece Oh, hang on. Closed door. X. There we go. Done. Yeah. Like that. Like that a lot. Right. Let's go drop these off at the uh, sawmill. Because um, we have a nice big trailer full of wood here. That has been an absolute joy to load up. So down to the sawmill. We do have quite a few items over there. Ready to load up. Um, I wanted to fill up the sawmill quite a bit because we're going to need a f quite a few bits later on once we've got all of our wool done. So, uh, yeah, that's that's going to be something I need to do. Uh, what I need to do first, though, is... Yeah, that's beginning to load. So we'll take all of the straps off. And we'll leave this here unloading because there's one last thing. And that is this. Shall we get this back to our uh, logging camp? Uh, I think we probably should. And uh, I don't think we can jump this, but certainly, well, we can jump it, but I don't think we can do wheelies and things. Uh, I want to get back. And, oh, I really must sort myself a crash helmet as well. Uh, we'll see if we can pick one of those up. Um, when we get back to the house, I am very pleased to have this. This is going to be a nice little bit of fun that we can ride around and uh, and go and do bits. But I want to drop it off back at our uh, logging camp first. We'll put it beside our truck. We're going to have to build a garage, I think, at some point. We've got a couple of vehicles for ourselves. And down and home. Perfect for this map, this bike. There we go. And park it up. There we go. So the bike's back. And now all we have to worry about is unloading the rest of this wood. That's very, very useful of the uh, sawmill to turn on all its lights. Um, but yeah, so we'll get this unloaded. We'll get the sawmill processing again. And once again, we are going to finish down here uh getting the production running on the sawmill so for now all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video please leave a like drop us a comment and give it a share special thanks to all my patrons and channel members your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow for more from virtual farmer check out the links below follow on twitch to watch live and for more videos subscribe and ring that bell i will see you next time goodbye